Hey, what's up everyone? You can probably already guess what the video topic is going to be about. It's going to be about earthquakes, particularly earthquakes in Tennessee, an occurrence that I felt last night. Now, if you live in West Tennessee, you probably obviously felt it first. Now, they're reporting that it happened yesterday at 7.38 p.m. in West Tennessee. Well, I was outside at about, I'd say right after midnight. It was about 12 to 12 to 1230 at night the dog really wanted out he wanted to go he was relentlessly wanting outside so I took him outside I took care of him and I took him outside and I walked him and I'll show you sometime in the daytime there's this there's the creek branch that goes to the main creek and it is uh, there was some strangeness that had happened one time now I heard one grunt over there in the uh, the part that did have some water it was like a I didn't go that far. I just stayed where I was at and in the dry spot with the rocks. There was a huge big old spider that came that came hopping out, but other than that, it favored a big brown recluse and I I definitely don't want that. But it just moved along and sat there standing his ground though, the spider did. But the dog was just he was wanting to go there, so he pulled me down in there and it was dry obviously, but and there's the bridge to the left where you can go up under the bridge and on the other side you just keep walking and there's a huge there's a large creek but that, I didn't go that far I just stayed right there at the bridge and it's a tunnel basically it's a tunnel bridge under there is a is a big tunnel very strong and I had gone out there to walk the dog and after I went back in there were like two snakes out there and I had heard there were two snakes and I seen this one larger thicker snake I didn't go anywhere near that and I always threw a rock to make sure nothing was there before I went any further and the dog was with me obviously so but I don't know if he would have let me know or not he's kind of just quick jumping and random sometimes so um happy go lucky every once in a while so you know um there was a smaller snake I seen that he actually had his tail or I don't know if it was tail or his face I couldn't tell but he was under a rock and then he had this very large yeah uh, I don't know it was like this uh, sticking upward and it was like a tail but it was sticking upward and I couldn't tell like he was watching everything so I know he was observing so I just kind of left him alone I didn't go near he was about four feet away from me I didn't go near him I didn't go near it it was he was at the water spot the one spot of water that was there there was one little puddle with crawfish in it some baby crawfish I guess they had lived underground until there was more water I don't know it's been so dry that we just barely got some rain here and there but the sounds I heard was an earthquake while I was walking the dog I know you're probably going to say get to the point get to the point well I had to set the experience up and set what was going on so I heard what I could only define as an earthquake. So later, after I brought the dog back in, and it's about 12.30, and six minutes later I go back outside for a moment, and I hear... It sounds like a rumbling. It was a... And a... A movement underground now I've heard what sounded like chamber doors before I've heard that sound before I've heard a rumbling but this was a different type of boom and it was shaking the ground suddenly and the dogs got scared the two female dogs Lizzie jumped on top of her doghouse and held it down and held down and just kind of got shaky looking like oh no please don't what's going on and the brown dog was acting alert and shaking looking around all around Lucy was looking all around well the sound went boom 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 and it's it was like several booms and there were several shaking there was lots of shaking several shakings rumblings and uh movement literally literally like the ground underneath the creek bed that i just walked in was literally falling off of its foundation it sounded like the rocks were pushing up against each other which that's what they say happens during an earthquake the tectonic plates under the ground move against each other and if i'd been down there and that had happened i would have been freaked the heck out i'm telling you if i had been in the creek bed i normally don't even go that far at night i mean i would normally not even do that but i felt this sense of bravery i don't know i felt this very just heightened sense of just nothing bothering me I don't know what it was, but it was this. Then I tried to meditate later in the night, 
and I couldn't. I finally did, and I relaxed, but all I did was fall asleep. I, I have a hard time I have a hard time meditating anymore. And then I would finally meditate and fall out and go, uh-uh. My body was going, uh-uh. And then I started hearing voices and things. Uh, I would say, no, it's me. Yeah, things like that. Um, but I had... I uh, I went out... I was out there with the dog. And then when I came back outside six minutes later, about 12.36 or, or 6 -ish or so, I heard those loud rumblings, those loud booms, and that loud movement underground. Now, interestingly enough, a couple of years ago, when I took a when I took a walk down to the creek branch, that's on our property, and it's it's nice that we have a creek branch against the property. I mean, that's not you know you, not everyone has that obviously. And I some of the people in the comment section in one of my previous videos when I took a walk down to the creek and said you know walk with me, I was having everyone see the video. I, uh, they stated, you know, it's really nice to have a creek branch there. And yeah, it is really. When you think about it, it's nice to have that down there. But I found this door. But it was also, it was like a square door. I'd say two feet apart, or wide each. And each, uh, it's like a, it was a square. And it had a handle. A metal handle. And it could turn, but I barely could turn it. Now, I was afraid if I had lifted the door, I tried to pull it, and it was kind of hard to pull it. It had been, it was like it was into the ground, but I was wondering if I had opened it, like, like that. If I had done that, I was wondering what would have been underneath. It might have been actually, it was larger than that. It might have been three feet wide, I don't know, but it was a little bit, it was wider than that. It was, I'm horrible at judging uh, distance, but, uh... What I had witnessed was a, was it looked like a chamber door or some kind of a, who knows? It could have been an old, a time capsule spot, uh, spot, or it could have been something that was a, an old bunker during one of the world wars or civil wars or anything. You never know. You really never know what's around. And it was. It was a small door, but larger than what you would normally see, something like that in a creek. I mean, it was in the creek branch. And I decided not to open it. There could have been snakes, and I could have opened it, and then a bunch of snakes had come out. That would have been that would have been a nightmare come true. But I wonder what I've wondered to this day what would have been under that chamber door. What would have been under that door? And what, what was it? I've heard sounds now in the middle of the night in the woods across the road. I've heard sounds in the yard that sound like a door opening going <coughs> or a door opening like a chamber door opening almost as if a chamber door to the underground or underworld opening. And I've heard that before. And, but this last night was an earthquake. And it was, I ran back in to tell my mama about it, hoping that she would go out and hear it. And she said I looked like, that I'd seen a haint. <laughs> she said that I looked like a ghost face, just like a, uh, she told me that I looked like quite frightened for, I mean, startled that, and normally, no, yeah, normally I would not be, I was just in such shock that it was like a literal earthquake was happening right there, and it was below and above ground, these rumblings and boomings that were different than just normal rumblings and boomings. It was like the whole ground under the creek bed was going to shift, like it was shifting, and... I had run back in there to tell her, hoping she would hear it, because I figured, I didn't know by the time she would run back outside that it might have stopped. But that's what happened last night, and it was something to experience. And then I hear about tonight, I hear today that there was a 2.9 earthquake in West Tennessee. And then there was an aftershock. They said anyone around should have felt or heard a 1.7 or so. And they were stating that people in our area should not have felt such an earthquake or should not have been able to feel it. But I'll tell you right now, I felt and heard this earthquake. I felt it and I heard it. Who knows? 
It might have vibrated all the way over there. It might have moved all the way over there. The seismic waves might have gone all the way over to here. I know they did because I, I felt it and I heard it. Now, imagine, now I'm imagining if I had been down there and that had happened and all of the snakes had come out. Oh my goodness, that would have been freaky. If all of the snakes had come out and the first thing they seen was me and they thought that I was the cause of it, they might have gotten, they might have attacked whatever the first thing was that they seen, that, that they seen and that would have been freaky and that would have been very, very scary. Frightening. Honestly, that would have been frightening. And, uh, I don't know what I would have felt if I were down there when that happened. If I was, if I was down there, if I had been down there as that was happening, the fact that I had just been down there 30, 30 minutes before this took place was, and I had just asked if anything is there, to, uh, I, I'm, I'm peaceful. I, I was stating peace, love, and respect to anything of, you know, that's good. And I said, leave a sign, let me know, just let me know it's all good. Give me a sign. And then that happens later. So, I literally felt a quake, an earthquake, I, I suppose you might as well say, right in our yard, right in our area. And But it was almost like a supernatural experience as well. So I don't know, and the dogs were barking about it and ev and everything. It was, it was something else. It was something else. So I um, I'll never forget that. So anyway. I'm using this Bitech microphone again. I don't see them anywhere. I happen to get this microphone, so when it goes out, that's that's it. Everything I get anymore messes up. So I mess everything up electronic-wise again, so everything is back to screwing up on me again and messing up. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit with everyone and ask how everyone's doing and let you know what happened last night and what had happened. It was early in the morning slash late at night, whichever you want to call it. It was around 12:30 at night and that's that's when this occurrence took place so just after midnight and i was out there just shortly before this whole thing took place walking the dog around dog around just walking the dog <laughs> so anyway give your thoughts on all of this and if you experienced anything similar the the uh, the closest thing i can describe that i was that I experienced was I was in the middle of an earthquake. I mean, I was right near an earthquake. Uh, it was might, albeit small, it might have been. I mean, although it was small in comparison to what others might experience, it was still very powerful. It was very you could feel the energy. You could just you could just maybe it was a message for me. I don't know, but it was above and below ground. You could just feel the energy everywhere. Something it's almost like something beamed to cause it. Something. And the rocks underground were moving. I'll do a video sometime of down at the creek. And the, the creek across the road. And the, the creek bed down there. And I'll share it online. I know since they uh, since President Trump did ban these certain type of towers. Like Hawaii towers or whatever it's called from China. Because they were spying on the United States citizens. And they were hacking the United States citizens. He said, I'm not allowing that. I am not allowing any country to to do that to the United States and so they took those towers away they were cheap towers so I don't get signal I don't get good signal at all now around here if any without our micro cell tower so yeah so we don't hardly get any signal where we did in the county away at my grandparents property I don't get signal in the yard like I did and I mean it had gotten to where oh there was like two or three bars and it was like I've got almost full signal around here and then it turned out that they put a ban on those types of towers so that must have been where the signal was coming from because of the hacking and stuff of course we don't need that anyway but he also said that you're not putting 5g in this country unless we're ahead of it so we're going to be starting start manufacturing our own 5g net towers and stuff so the um 
the uh, the towers that were here must have been those type of Hawaii towers or whatever they are. I don't really know the pronunciation of them. They, they're spelled similar to Hawaii. And um, that must have been where the signal was coming from. So I don't know if I have any signal. I'll just pre-record and then I'll upload it after I go down there tomorrow or sometime. I'll go down to the creek branch and down under the bridge and over across the the across the bridge and go over there to the big creek, the larger creek. And I'll record and show you exactly where the sounds were and what was happening and all of that. So so you'll get a better gist of things. You'll get a better you'll get a better understanding of what it looks like. But anyway, peace and much love. I decided to share my own personal experience with you all. I felt an earthquake. And it was freaky, so I just want to share that. Peace and much love. I love you all so much. This is Spaced Out Productions signing out. And I'd just like to say, if you, if you like my content and you would like to help my channel grow, feel free and to help us out on PayPal with PayPal donations. And feel free to subscribe, like, share, leave your comments if you experienced anything like this and all of that good stuff. I love you all so much. This is Spaced Out Productions signing out. Peace.